Uh, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles, sunny Southern California. Today, our topic is going to be about awareness versus mechanicalness. The marketplace, the society, the system, it requires you to be efficient, requires you to be robot, a robot. When you come here and we meet at the 5D Academy, you start to relax and you begin to dive into the heart. And as you are in this process of unwinding, it's like at the end of the day, of a hard day, long day of working, you come home, you relax, you take your shoes off, you put your feet up, maybe you pour yourself a glass of wine, maybe you have a sip of a glass of wine, of wine and you're just unwinding, you're relaxing, you're just kind of diving into a very solid, relaxed state away from all the mental and activities and your challenges. You're allowing yourself to unwind. When you do come to the academy and we meet here, same thing begins to happen. As you're relaxing, the speed of your mind starts to mellow down. So you're slowly disengaging from this thought process or this emotional process. And it's a migration again from the head to the heart. And as you are migrating from the head to the heart, you are disconnecting from a analytical way of being, a, a system, a way of just thinking, 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 and a system that requires you to be mechanical and a robot. Your awareness begins to increase and expand. As awareness, as your awareness begins to expand and then increases, you're becoming self-aware. Self-awareness starts to take place and increase in awareness the less mechanical you're going to be, the, the less robotic you will be. The two cannot coexist in the same place. If you're aware, you're no longer a robot. You cannot be mechanical any longer because there is awareness here. When there is no awareness, you are a machine. Everything you do is a robot. A robot is doing it. And if you go back and look at your life and if you examine the society, you can clearly see that the vast majority of society is robotic. They look like human beings. 
they eat, they talk, they reproduce, they have to dispose of their toxins, but they look like humans. They look like they're alive. They look like they can think, decide for themselves what to do, but they're robots. Especially if you're in a Western country, the Western world, that is very much focused on efficiency, then their members need to be very efficient. Then you can see it's more robotic. Or if you're in the Eastern world, that they're very religious, then their members are like soldiers of religion. And they're different kind of robots. Ready to go to war and ready to be killed if need to without asking questions without questioning anything. When you go into the system, you go to the marketplace, the system expects you to be efficient. It doesn't expect you to be aware. When you start working for a corporation, they don't want you to be aware. They want you to be a, a yes person. They require you and train you to be very efficient at your work. This efficiency is coming from the machines because the machines are a machine is a lot more efficient than a human being humans cannot be as efficient as the machines but the idea when you're working in corporations or in general the idea is to implement the same mentality to you, to have you as less aware as possible and as efficient as it could be. So you work like a machine. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you with me? Yeah, you get it. <clears throat> but your awareness is your real being. So you may go through a life of robotic reaction and behavior, but something inside you is crying out. You may not be aware of it. Something is wounded. Something is deprived. You may, most people, they don't know there is something missing because the soul is not there. They're very efficient. They work very hard. They're mo money-making machines but something's empty inside them. 